Hi, my name is Winona Gardner, and I was a participant in GISH, the great international scavenger hunt, my first time, and a first time captain. And of all the 201, 202 items on the list, the one item that meant the most to me was item number 11, going to a local foster care agency and bringing things of comfort like books, and book bag and school supplies and things of that nature. Now I have given school supplies before to children in general, um, Indian summer. You know, you can get in for free if you come in on Friday between four and six last year, if you brought school supplies for native students, which is nice. But there's something deeper meaning in this specifically targeting foster kids. You see, I was a foster kid, a Native American foster kid. I'm in the Stockbridge and Monsey Band of Mohican Nation, and I'm enrolled through my father's side. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I'm an incest survivor and sexual assault survivor, both during and before I ended up in foster care. And so, I have some dark demons that I had to face about my past. A lot of memories were stirring up. And I turned to my team and I shared some of my survivor story in foster care with them. And we rallied together and we raised $50. Uh, thanks to also $15 donation from Sarah from Scotland. And I really appreciate that. My team member from Blessed Be. And, uh, my friend Clarence gave me a ride to Sam's Club where he let me use his discount and uh, I ended up purchasing 90 boxes of four crayons and a big 32 pe pick 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 pencils, <laughs> pencils and um, a girl's backpack. So I was trying to stretch my, my money. I got some good deals. Went over to the summit, which is part of St. A. St. A is the foster care agency I decided to feature. They are a leader in trauma-informed care movement and in, in Milwaukee area leader of uh, foster care. And uh, I used to work for them as a certified peer support and wellness specialist and activities coordinator over at Friendships Unlimited in uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin as part of their branch. And, and the six years that I worked there, I loved being there. I was from there from about 2006 to 2012. And uh, I, I love their focus on children, foster kids, especially like me. And especially they had the program where children are aging out of foster care. They had a transition program to help them become, enter the world of adulthood, which I would have loved too. And um, they, at St. A's, they have something called the Kathy's Collection. If you go to saint-a.org, S-A-I-N-T-A dot O-R-G, you'll find something called Kathy's Collection. She was a foster mother, Kathy Miller. She had 70 foster children. And she came up with this grassroots boutique where they could put new donated objects and items as gifts. And the foster kids come and they get to pick special items that they see and it's like a gift shop it's so beautiful so cute take a look at the picture that i posted in the front of this video as a thumbnail and uh it's so my my inner child was just so happy it was so beautifully well put together and i, I wish i had something like that as a kid and i remember i started dreaming like you know i want to do something more and I thought, well, what would I have gone as a Native American kid, as a Native American foster kid? You know, what would I have liked? And I remember this one foster mother had given me an audio cassette of Carlos Nakai. And it was on the Morning Star. And my Indian name is Morning Star, Wabonanung. And so I fell asleep peacefully. I, the first year of foster care, I was in and out of 13 different foster homes. And when you're moving like that and you're in a strange environment and you don't know anybody... I would get insomnia and I couldn't sleep for days, but that flute music was like a piece of home that I missed. As a native person, those little touchstones really matter. So I came up with Winona's wish list for St. A's Native American foster kids. 
and I, I came up with, it looks like hundreds of items ranging from boys to babies to girls to teens. Um, even adults would probably benefit taking a look at this list. I've got music like Buffy St. Marie, Burleigh, Michael Jacobs, Mary Youngblood, Brenda McIntyre, Medicine Songwoman. I've got um, a tribe called Red, which is very modern hip hop style and made of music, power music. Got books from Wisconsin tribes. I've got other tribes, craft books, journals, uh, dream catchers to help to sleep, lavender tea, chamomile tea, native teas to help you calm down, uh, stuff for babies, the sound of the heartbeat of the mother, the womb, all these wonderful, peaceful, soothing, relaxing Native American flute music like Carlos Mackay and Mary Youngblood playing flute music. Um, all the, Bill Miller for my tribe. And I, I'm planning to add it on it for, you know, throughout the year so I can have this long-term relationship with St. A's, helping direct foster parents that may not know about Native culture and give them some options. And also, I offer to volunteer at St. A's or Kathy's Collection in the future. I gave them my business contact for White Turtle Rainbow and I let them know that this was a GISH event, so we partnered. And I was so pleased by it. Stephanie Allen was in the picture. She represents Kathy's collection out at the summit of St. A's. It's an awesome woman, dedicated, hardworking, loving. We had a lot of good, meaningful communication back and forth, back and forth. It was a team effort. My friend Clarence, he drove us there, took the photos. Stephanie let us use her camera. She uploaded it to us and uh, sent it to me, and I am so grateful. I am grateful for the support of Tim Grove, who will let me share my survivor story more in detail, and I'm going to be seeing this Wednesday, and so I'm, I'm really happy to be connected back again with CNAs, and I hope this isn't just a one-time thing. I'd like the, a partnership, because it, it was self-fulfilling to reach out and heal this inner child of mine. You know, what turns out like a, a, just a bunch of crayons turned out to be a soul healing. My inner wounded child was healed and expressing joy and hope and I can share it with the world. And thank you, Gish, 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 G-I-S-H, <laughs> the great international scavenger hunt, Misha Collins, for giving me this opportunity to come full circle and to really be able to give back from my heart and hear my life's task. Because, you know, things that I was doing before were not as meaningful, but this one act of kindness has really redirected me on the kinds of things that I value and really want to support. So thank you and enjoy the pictures. And I hope you had a happy dish. Take care. Bye.